Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique and I've got another Chord Prism tutorial for you. This one's on exporting slash recording the MIDI performance. So Chord Prism obviously plays one chord and it could be a very complex chord with the push of one note. So if I push C2 on my keyboard right now, and you look down here on the keyboard, that's actually quite a complex chord that I'm getting off of one note. If I record this inside of my MIDI clip, inside of the channel with Chord Prism on it, I'll get this sort of pattern. Now, what if I want the actual Chord MIDI data itself? It's actually really easy to do. What you wanna do is play out your entire sequence. So what I'm gonna do is double click here again, and I'm going to hit play, and I wanna have four bars. I've got a four bar performance here, and up here where it says export, I wanna wait till this says four up here, the little number. This is the buffer, so let's go ahead and check that out. Okay, so now it has four. Now all I need to do is click, drag and drop into my DAW, and boom, I've got that full chord sequence. I can go in and make changes to velocity individually, or delete notes, add notes, whatever I wanna do, I now have that MIDI clip inside of my DAW. This is gonna work the same way if I have, let's say, repeat on, and the gate, and I turn velocity on, and I make all of these changes. If I go ahead and do it again, And I have that click, drag and drop, and you'll see that the velocity changes are there. Uh, it's gated, it's got the repeat pattern and so on. So once again, the chord prism track is only gonna have these one notes triggering complex chords, and then the MIDI export are gonna have the actual data that are used to trigger the instrument themselves. I hope that makes sense. I hope you learned something. Links in the video description to find out more about chord prism. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I'll see you in the next video.